I hire them here. Yesterday I did a test on this stove that John over at Flat Cat Gear sent me. It's an Espit stove that he calls the Focused Fire 14 stove. It's a kind of a do-it-yourself thing. He's going to punch it out and then send you the pieces. You form it up and then just use it. Anyway, I did a test with the stove looking like this. Uh, Espit cube goes on the inside there. You put a pot stand around it like so and go to town. This came two cups of water to a boil, brought two cups of water to a boil in 8 minutes 16 seconds, and then ran out in 12 minutes. Pretty nice little bit with the Espit. I'm personally not a big user of Espit, but I do carry this stuff to use in case of an emergency because it does carry well, but uh, it tends to be kind of messy on pots and stuff. Anyway, I did this test, and I had two people so far request that if I could do the test again, but without the stove part, you know, just put the Espit in here, put that on, and the pot, and see what kind of time we get with just that to use as a comparison. So that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, I'll just use Espit on the plate. One other thing there. It did make the Espit on the previous test made a heck of a mess there. It took some scrubbing to get it off. I forgot to put aluminum foil on. On anything that I use Espit on, I usually put down a piece of aluminum foil. That way when you're done with your burn or whatever, you can just crumple that up and throw it in your trash. So I'm going to do that today. But let me get some water prepped here. I've got my cube. It weighs, what did I say, 14.1 grams. And that's about one half of an ounce. So let me get my water prepped and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, so I've got my water prepped. Can't see it off to the side here. Uh, as always with Espit, to make it a little bit easier to start, I scrape it on the top to get some crumbs on there. So this is a 14.1 gram cube. Let's see if this is, hope you can see this in the, in the camera. Okay, the flames are going. Give it the pot stand for this. Now again, this is going to be the two and a quarter, two and a quarter inches tall, which might be a little bit too tall for this. We'll see. But two cups of water, setting at 60 degrees, and let's see how fast. I can't even. I'm just wondering here. Let's see how long it takes for this to get to a boil. Okay, here we are at the two minute mark. The temperature is up to 108 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I'll try to put a picture of this flame up on the side here from yesterday. This is a much bigger hunk in flame than what we had yesterday, plus the temperature is up a little bit higher than what it was at this point using the uh, flat cat gear stove. But the point will be to see how long this lasts. So let's see what how long it takes to get to a boiling here there we have 210 211 212 in 7 minutes 17 seconds Okay, so let's see how long this lasts now. Okay, the flames are going, sort of. Okay, the temperatures drop from 213 to 212. Either flame out or one more degree down and it'll be the end of the test. Going. Just hanging in there. Okay, so that's 12.30. Let's call the end of the test. 12.30. Flames are still going, but as you can see there, the temperature is dropping. Okay, not exactly sure how to say with this one. But, flame's still hanging out just by a little bit. Nothing there, really. All right. Let me empty out this water. Show you the other problem that I why I don't like. 
mess but that much see the mess on the pot now this is a little more spread out than what it was yesterday but uh, it's still there okay let me shut this off not sure what to say with this this test today two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 7 minutes 17 seconds yesterday with the test using uh, flat cat gears focused fire stove it took 8 minutes 16 seconds so this was one minute quicker then this ran out at 12 minutes 30 and in yesterday's test with this it was 12 minutes 5 seconds so uh, even without using the focus stove this got to water to boil faster and lasted in this case about 25 seconds longer now the one good thing I can say is that with the focus stove it didn't stink as bad in here boy fumes in here from Espit are I gotta open the doors but all I can say is for those that requested it this test actually went faster and lasted a little bit longer than the flat cat gear stove the uh, focused fire 14 stove I don't know if this is the kind of feedback that John wanted but this could end me getting anything from him again so for those that asked for this I hope this helps uh, you know we gotta just show what it shows but I thank them I thank you for watching I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now